Under the mask. Wait a second, I like this. This one, I like this. Let's just blow everybody's ears out. Stay positive. Positive, va? Is it too loud? I know it's going to get irritating for me eventually. Because I can't really focus with music too much. The lag is real. So what we must do... See, that's why I get distracted with music. I start singing along with it, humming along, doing whatever, dancing along even. <laughs> um. Welcome to Assets for a wonderful town. And we know that... And today we're taking a little... Oh my god, what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> I just imagine this music like as in Welcome to Acids for Sunnyside Mongolo blah, 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 blah. Where everybody's just honey Everybody's just happy We got our town happening You know, everybody's going on all day When suddenly, out of the blue <coughs> Out of the blue came the blue dragon The blue purple dragon The blurple dragon The blurple Charlie, what's up in the blah blah blah? What?
that you're a priest. I have moved to. This is different. That doesn't make sense. Yeah, I don't know what I don't know what I was trying to do there, but
Let's see. I, don't, I, I wonder. I've got a funny feeling. You know, will this one run to here? Oh, will that one run to here? And will that one run to here? Or are they going to get confused between which ones they're going to supposed to run to? <coughs> I don't know. Where was his location? His location is here. Okay. Um, if he's a gunsmith, true. Then go focus. Move to location. Strike location, which is the new location test. Okay, I'm gonna make it. Where do we get the location? Set gunsmith extract location. Is that zero in the world or what? He looks the same with me while he's doing the video. He's come to this location, yeah.
Sounds good. And then in the event graph, use the extract location. Okay. So I'm also okay. Let's just see. All right, so it will be his own little arrow then, because now it's not going to be... Okay, let's also extraction, let's also him in game. Let's see what it looks like. Priest arrow should be outside here somewhere, because that's where we put it. That guy's arrow should be here somewhere. Okay, if my maths is not exactly because I was thinking that it's, what am I why am I where is why am I not seeing the error either? Oh, not on construction. What I'm gonna do is Event graph. You know what, I'm just gonna stop trying to think. Go back to how I was doing it, but I'm going to make separate little extraction points for each one. Okay, what I'm going to do is just leave it the way it is. Let's see, let's make sure it's still working. Um, it's going to be a little bit buggy and whatnot. We'll see how we can fix it when we get there. Uh, but to complete it, so what we're going to do is, is as soon as you click on him, that's that's a successful. You've saved it. Um, <coughs> we can also keep count of him dying, of those that die, so that those that don't make it, uh, even whether it's like buggy for some reason you know they still get counted or whatever we, we can move on from there and we can play test it and see what where we can improve or what we can make better see the priest has managed to get away this guy's gonna shoot at you.
Now, if we make this guy actually move towards you. I'm thinking. I'm thinking uh, to give some extra little bit of gameplay of some sort. We have the player in the beginning come and plant something here. You know, like a little. Maybe we can have like a trip mine or something. I don't know. Because we want to damage him as much as possible so that when he comes to here, there's still a bit of a gunfight left over, but most of the explosions have maybe basically damaged him up and taken him down. And I want to do it in such a way that even if you have somehow, you know, missed every single drum and, or shot them because you were bloody felt like, you know, funny, didn't get notified you're alive again. I did. Oh, no stress, how's it? How are you doing? <laughs> Uber Geek. I don't get notifications that people are, uh, you know, saying something in the chat even. I need to f figure out, well, I don't know how to stream, so. <laughs> I just, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah. Busy thinking and trying to figure out what to, uh, on how to. I'm thinking of the gameplay itself and at the same time, how to make it easier so I can get it finished without having to have too much stress. I want to get the loop done so that I can start cleaning up and doing more stuff. And then I can maybe see how I can improve on this and improve there. Because of the code that I have it at the moment, it's, you know, it's very messy. <laughs> Making things happen. I like how my voice got working. You can hear that from a distance. <laughs> Someone made him cry as well. Oh, letting Unity. Oh, uh, yeah, and I said I was going to take like a one hour break and it ended up being a little bit longer. <laughs> ended up making dinner and having dinner as well. <laughs> So what I was trying to look at to make it a bit more efficient was give them each their own targets to move to. And then like he can just run to here instead of that. And instead of running all the way. Ooh, you fell down the sprite making ooh, I know. I, I've I've actually tried uh, doing 2D once or twice. Uh would you believe it? I took that one tutorial. I've got uh, a tutorial of Stephen Ulibari. I think I've, I hope I'm pronouncing it right. Notifications, yeah. Uh, but there is one tutorial I have of his which he does 2D, but it's in C. But uh, it's like the fundamentals of uh, it's called the fundamental. Oh, actually, yeah, that's on Game Dev TV, I believe, if I remember right. Fundamentals, learn C. This was actually quite a nice tutorial because I did it, was the first time I've ever done 2D. But it was just to learn the introduction to C++. And, uh... Everything is a bit slow. Where's the intro? Hello and welcome to the first section of this course. Now, this is a C++... So, yeah. as you can see, Raylib is a nice, small, little library of C++ code that allows you to do some really exciting and... Teaches you to, to do use some Raylib and C++. Nice as you can see code that creates creates this project you make like make like a little uh, uh, 3d game that goes like this but you it, it teaches you how to actually make it from the console sort of sort of thing it's a pretty cool you pop up your own window you don't use the engine you it's like your own little <laughs> it's quite cool it's quite fun raylib using raylib like a little simple 2d game that you you know can install in inside windows kind of thing you know like the chess games you play or something like that it's kind of uh, kind of cool, unique, and even that you could use to like uh, make that and make a game to it. But you are you learn to make an axe game, and then an the adventure game as well, classic clash. You park with a sword and even sight, do some fighting. <laughs> but yeah, I do all uh, most of my tutorials. Uh, uh, you can see all, actually most of them are all Unreal, but uh, you'll see it's all mostly around blueprints and C plus plus. And you'll see I've got Stephen Ulibari would be the one that I get most of the courses from. Is you see Stephen Ulibari, Stephen Ulibari, 
Stephen Lou Murray. I'm doing the gas course. I got a while ago. And it's yeah, Stephen Lou Murray. <laughs> Stephen Lou Murray. <laughs> I think at the moment he's one of the he's got the most content for Unreal Engine out, and he's probably one of the best. Or I'd say he, I'd say in my personal opinion he's the best tutor, online tutor for Unreal Engine and C plus plus, both blueprints and C plus plus. Sort of like a, a you know a genius when it comes to code, just understands things. Uh, I wish I could understand code like that. Then I'd you know also pop out. There we go. I just implemented the taxi driver that's going to come here, pitch up quickly. Um, ask you for delivery, and he'll drive off quickly, and he'll come back about twenty minutes later with with ammunition from a different from a different town. <laughs> also, uh, not only that, he will also <laughs> take civilians to that town and bring and switch them around and come back with soldiers that will help that will help fight the battle. <laughs> Imagine. Uh, all right. Okay, so wait, what, did I, what do I want to do? I want to create. Civilian extraction. Okay, I'm going to. What was the name again? My ears are faulty. Uh, last, last stand. Hey man, reactor rapper, how you doing? Hey, how's it going? This is looking awesome. Thank you, thank you. But yeah, to, uh, the assets on mine. Literally, literally, these are all free assets that I've just that I've, that I've added into the game. Uh, it's assets, vol, and then the FPS is from the what do you call it? But yeah, I don't. Yeah, you didn't see this. Let me show you. What I have so far. Uh, let me just check and make sure that uh, boss. Let me go to boss quickly. Make sure that's turned on. Yes, it is turned on because otherwise it makes a little bit of issues. I can't. I can kill him, but it takes quite a while because it's so the gameplay isn't worked out yet completely. But yeah, basically in the you can see in the top left here where it's uh, yeah, it says get to the gun shop. So the gameplay is going to basically, you know, make itself up, but yeah, you know, come to here, go to cinematic space. Yeah. Okay, come free the guy, grab hold of him. Okay, the voice just, he's not finished talking, but yeah. <laughs> then this guy comes down here. You can sit here and wait as well, damage him a little bit. <laughs> the blue on the top, the blue bar on the top, that's his health bar. That's the monster's health bar, you know. When that's to the bottom and you know the monster's dead and you just see the head bomb just we're gonna save the priest quickly here comes the trouble man here comes the trouble <laughs> yeah, yeah. But yeah, I've got got that, that. That's sort of like okay now. At the moment, he just stands there now. Once you get out of the range, he's he just stands there because I'm busy. I've got to fix the rest of the gameplay now. But I'm making it sort of linear. You you make the final stand basically here. You uh, like because going through the theme, it's the last stand. And my idea is to work in a way that you actually run inside here. Yep. You want to lure him, kind of thing, but damage him as much as possible. But for the final shot, you know, come up with it like a. Even maybe see if I can work in a cinematic for it, if there's time. Come here from the top, and now from the top you go shoot, but like. And then this one. <laughs> and then maybe have like a final fight. But no, I'm, I'm busy working on getting getting it sort of like. Those, those AI, they, they run to here, and then I want to have a counter saying one saved, two saved, three saved. But I'm having sort of issues with the AI because they run and they get stuck here. So now you click to save him, but now he gets stuck here and he doesn't get saved because he's going to die now because the explosions also get killed. Oh, thanks, man. <laughs> I like it also. I love that low poly style you got going. No, thanks. 
but I'm, I suck at art when it comes to art and stuff. So, yeah, for me, it's yeah, you know, putting the game together is is ten times easier than it is to put the, the to put this town together. Or yeah, it, if I had to try and create this town, it would take me forever. I would never be able to make this. <laughs> but yeah. So now I need to work on getting my AI to work nicely so that I can have because the idea for the linear gameplay is to literally force force him to come in it's like the final boss fight and you want to remove as much health as possible to come over here maybe if you if he's had a little fight and if you can work in some time I have sort of like a an achievement if you killed him with the bullets before you you know if the, if you manage to kill him before that this is something like that I don't know come up with certain achievements you can get but I can also increase the difficulty Uh, <laughs> you're more artsy and yeah <laughs> it always works out like it you end up you end up you know this is what you do but you end up doing something else <laughs> it's the way life is eh? it's always like it <laughs> they never make it easy <laughs> well, it's not day it's just life just never makes it easy life is always but if but but if life was easy then it wouldn't be fun <laughs> Yeah. There's so much I want to add to this, and I don't think I'm going to get the time for it. So now I'm thinking just. Okay. And I keep talking. What the problem is with streaming is every time I start talking, then I can't work. <laughs> and then also I drift off and I think of something else and I forget what I was supposed to do. <laughs> um, the issue I was having is that. If, I click him, if he doesn't get somewhere, then that's one guy you didn't save. So if if you don't save that guy, then later on, if I'm making, making the linear gameplay. So say, for example, I want to have you save the priest and you have saved that guy. So it's two people saved. So if they get stuck there and they don't, don't manage to make it here, you haven't saved two people. And then the final objective won't be able to kick off. And then that's going to be like not the player's fault. That's the dev's fault because he didn't get through and then I get looked, and then they look at me and say, yeah, yes, like, man, <laughs> right, so I'm, I'm going to come up with to, to fake this and fix this. So, so I'm going to click here. The second you just click this guy to to, to start extracting, that's it, that's it, you've saved him. He's on his own now, he's running. <laughs> if he doesn't make a tough cookie. <laughs> but now, I can also add a death count and say, okay, cool, that died. And that will be not part of the achievements, but be like just like a statistic. Send you to Jesus achievement. I'm gonna. That's what I was thinking. You know, get those achievements as well. So you get the achievement. You know, you've rescued the guy because he, he's escaped. But you know, on the way he didn't make it. <laughs> so I'm thinking, you know, they're like a little cheat in the game. <laughs> Let's see if we can get him to go flying. Let's see if we can pull this off. Come on, pick a pick a barrel, pick a barrel, buddy, pick a barrel. <laughs> yeah, you like this one, don't you? <laughs> he flew straight into the pole. Okay, we need to save another one. That wasn't funny enough. <laughs> oh, she's gonna get away. Ooh, check her, check her. She's making it. Check her running there in the background. <laughs> right next to you. Oh, damn, there's no barrels. Oh, she got lucky. She thought she was going to get lucky. <laughs> yeah, you haven't, you haven't seen the other attack yet. You can also shoot that stuff. So now, I had the idea that you can come like this. If that thing's close enough, it gives you damage anyway. So you might be able to run away fast like it so now you might think okay cool uh, this guy's easy it's not damaging me so now you want to get in closer now you find out hey listen getting close is not such a good idea i nearly died <laughs> Woo, where's my health there's one health <laughs> yeah <laughs> but yeah <laughs> 
that message I'll get from physics all the time, but that doesn't matter. A small little. It won't break the game. I won't be. I'll still be able to package it. But that's the physics. But yeah, let's see if we can get him go flying, man. We need to get someone, one of them, to go flying. Let's see. This guy. No, he didn't go flying. <laughs> we need to get one of them to go fly, just to see that again. They're getting stingy now. Let's save the lady and we stand and wait for her. Maybe she runs to this side of the barrel. That's all we need for her to run this side of the barrel. Oh. Run that side. Yes. No, no, not this side. Anyway. <laughs> Where did she go? <laughs> Almost blew her straight through the shop. <laughs> now that'll be an achievement, you know. <laughs> <laughs> shoot her through now. Let's say there's a door over here. Now you shoot her over here, and she smashes through this door. Now the door smashes over, and you've unlocked like a, a secret achievement or something. <laughs> can I get inside? Hey, you can hear that? I'm walking on grass. I forgot. I added, you know, footsteps for the gap for the ground, and also for for, for grass. But there was no grass anywhere. But there's <laughs> grass inside the shop. It does pop more with that blue, yeah. Let's go. Let's see if we can make another guy fly. Oh, no, there's no more barrels this side. He doesn't trust me maybe you see that's what i mean about the ai with the they're running sometimes what the hell wait where's he going where the hell oh there he is <laughs> okay well that's good to know if you know if they just mess around a little bit and everything like that but some i've noticed sometimes they get stuck and then the, if you know some players might not like it very much you know the player the, uh, comes up here and he gets stuck there in the corner and then he can't run anywhere anymore and then i've seen once or twice there was a there was a little pole that was here as well yes this pole i actually made just turn the collision off on this pole because they kept on running up to this pole and they, they just stand there against it for some reason it's like you know, so i turned the collision off so they run straight through it And I don't know, I, it, it just, for me, it just, <laughs> when you look at it, you think, damn, this AI is so stupid. Because it's like, there's wide open spaces here. Yeah, let's go through this hole. Crack. <laughs> let's walk, instead of walking here, let's like, fit through this crack here. <laughs> AI for you. Um, so in game mode, that will be in the game mode. See, I've, I've got talking and I forgot all about what I was supposed to do. Okay. <laughs> In game mode. Civilians. Rescued. Okay. So. Rescue count. Should I make it a function? I'm not sure if I should make it a function or a, or a um, event. Anyway, we'll just say civilians rescued. Increment. 
Or do I? I'm wondering now. See for my in the game state, in my game state. I have my three objectives, uh, four objectives. Okay, it's gun shop, gunsmith, priest, extraction. Get to the extraction point. Okay, so if I, so this one doesn't get called yet. I also need to make it uh, come up with a way to So now on the target, where, oh, oh, there we are, on the target itself, we can create a, oh, come on, we have to go to the parent itself. So we go to there. See our collision. We make it a little bit bigger and give it to in the viewport. We'll make it, let's say, 2300. We make it nice and big so that you know he's got more more space to get it. Yeah, there we go. That's like plenty. You know, we can make it even a little bit bigger so that even if he gets to, uh, you know, yeah, that's not, I suppose that's fine. Suppose that's fine. So, uh, in the event graph, uh, we can say add event on component begin overlap. Class to ls. Uh, no, it's class to uh, ls ai. Ls ai. And it's base AI. And then we call the function, which is, should be an event, I think, which was. No, that was in game mode. What am I doing? Oh, I'll stay in game mode. It was update rescue count. So we go back to the civilian extraction. Close the villain extraction because we don't need it. Let's close the boss enemy because we don't need that. Game mode we keep open. Game state we keep open. No, we don't need it just yet. Target location base we keep open. We don't other actor. So right. So if that's true, then we say then we come back to the get game mode. Get game mode. Mode. Goes to and it's in last stand. And we go, uh, what do we call it? Update rescue cut. There we go. So now let's go to. Uh, 
our widget. Change framework, HD, widget. B not main player HD. And we can add just let's add a text just in the corner for now. Just like that. Boom. Clamping there in the corner and then we can move it that way a little bit and that way a little bit and we can bind this create a binding and we'll get the uh, game mode Oh, what am I thinking? I was, and then it's called uh, what do we call it? Civilians rescued. Civilians rescued. All right. There we go. Okay, so now on the, now on our AGD, we should see a zero there. So, let's go save this guy first. Let's see what happens. I was just gonna say, you better make up your mind quickly, bro. There's a barrel right by you. <laughs> All right, cool. Here we go. We saved one. Here we go. He says we saved one. According to him, <laughs> we have saved a civilian. All right. All right. We have rescued a civilian. Now. What's that about double jeopardy? <laughs> double jeopardy? <laughs> he's been saved, but he's not saved. <laughs> Alright, let's save another one. I've saved two. I've saved two. I saved two civilians. And I saved myself an attack. See now that priest is gonna. Make a move. Alright. So now we can save civilians. Now the civilians. So now we can even have, yay, saving. <laughs> so, so now we can save civilians. <laughs> uh, and uh, yeah, now we can actually create extra fun functionality on it, but okay, we haven't got a loop finished yet. We need, the loop must be, him actually dying so let's work on getting to him to die so now we can save civilians and we can say at the end of the game listen you saved that many civilians <laughs> congratulations so many civilians died in in the in the in the accident and i can put a whole bunch of other civilians like standing around you know trying that you need to that's actually not a bad idea because i can actually punch a whole bunch there so you can try and save as many as you want to and record try and set a record or something <laughs> we can see we'll see what happens but let, let's first get the the gameplay finished here with uh, this money key. So after we fight with the priest, yeah, after we get the priest, the priest comes out. We're still working at looking at the time because I can increase the time that comes out. It takes for him to come out here. But after the priest comes out, then you're basically having a fight because that's 
if the timing goes right, that's what that's the first thing I'm gonna do. That's the first thing that I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take away walking. I'm gonna make, it, make him sprint all the time, and you press shift to walk, like Counter Strike. Uh, I'm gonna do that specifically because sometimes I feel like it's yeah. You know, also with the crouch, I'm gonna make it because when you crouch, when you crouch, you press C to go crouching, and then you press C to come back up again. Press C to go crouching, and press C to go up. I'm gonna make it that you you press it to crouch, and when you release, he stands up again. Because when you press sprint now, when you're crouching, he doesn't sprint. And that puts you off, because now it feels a bit... For me, it feels awkward. So I'm thinking that's an optimization I'm going to make for the game. It feels more better. Like, so now you press shift to walk, but most of the time you're going to be running. That way I can... More... But then again, I have to also fix that, because when you hold sprint, then you just... <laughs> He's running in the spot like that without doing anything. <laughs> Bug number two, fix the sprint. Maybe just leave the sprint to where it is and take out crouching. Because <laughs> it's crouching that causes the issue. You, know, you want to sprint now, it doesn't want to sprint, you have to press. <laughs> and to literally, you know, improve that in gameplay, it would be like to make a an HED what do you call it a little a little man that shows that you're standing and when you crouch then it shows that you're crouching you know a little thing like that that way you don't have to worry about the people making a mistake or not not knowing what's happening because there's visuals telling you listen bro you crouched listen buddy you're crouching i was watching a game the other day where i think it was talk over something like that but it shows the guy crouching but the guy's not crouching he's running i'm like what the hell it looked kind of weird okay so that, now he saves there so now the now it comes out here he starts shooting now i want to have I don't know i don't want him to come moving straight away maybe you shout a bit, you fight a little bit fight a little bit and then it's after a little bit of fighting when his damage gets to when the monster's damage gets to let's say 75 percent then it triggers the next so now you fight okay so yeah let's say i'm thinking i'm gonna think about it just play it through sort of like picture it in my mind as i'm doing it to the gunshot but the mission is get to the gunshot save the guy find the priest and this guy starts coming find the priest that means if you're running all the way if you if you're running running it you're gonna get to here very quickly you can make it to here click this guy and get back out and you'll be in time to get this guy getting here and if you time it this way okay that cinematic goes like that is he now you stand here and let's say when it gets to 75 percent let's go when the damage gets to 75 percent But, what, what, what's going on here? Do you see that? Oh, yeah. I almost, uh, on the target, I added that uh, trigger box. And, uh, yeah that's what's causing the issue so on this yeah on this one i'm going to turn the collision off say no collision because i don't want any collision there <laughs> but then why would you fight you okay
Give me a second to set up my coding. Okay, the objective is telling you to get to the gunshot. Then it tells you to get to the priest. Okay. Um, as soon as it's finished with the priest, let's go to, let's try this. Let's see. Last stand. Uh, it's the game state. Truck space location, we close that. Player HDD, we can close that. Target location base, we can close that. We're not using it anymore. Last stand, LSM. Okay, that's the game mode. Event card, we can keep that open because we might need it. No, no. Base L, uh, AI, we, we'll need it just now, but we don't need it now. Last stand, that's not the. Okay, we need to open up the game state. Okay, get the objectives, and on the second objective is find the priest. Uh, um, Recorded ID name, no objective. Help keep the priest alive, and then we'll come to uh, in the last end game. It's on the priest. Uh, yes, it's on the priest itself. So we come to the priest. Open the priest. And it's when we actually is rescued. Market lady. Priest. Hold on a second. Oh, wait a second. You know, that would actually help. Let's hold on a second. Wait, I'm going to show you something. This would be so, just a small difference again, because I forgot it. I just forgot it. it is priest. Wait, 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 wait. Go to market lady. Is market lady. Is market lady. Now we'll hear her saying things. Okay, we need to get a we need to make a recording of the of what of what we want her to say, but you know, at the moment we have her saying this. Also, uh, I've also got a death sound, which I can still add, which I haven't added yet, <laughs> for when they die. <clears throat> but now she's going to be talking as well. Shut up. <laughs> I should have shot the barrel. That scream is cool, you know, maybe take the crying out and but leave the scream there because yeah. <laughs> but yeah, okay, so we got some scream in there. Um Okay, so where was I? So there, escort. And back to the area let's head. Set next objective. All right, cool. So once we save the priest, then it's going to say like this. OK. 
Okay, so get to the gun shop. All right. <laughs> there we go. Right, so now wait a couple of seconds. Let's first make sure the objective's gonna 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 run. Once we finish making it run, then we can set the next objective is to run once you reach like seventy five percent or something. Keep the priest help keep the priest alive. Alright, cool. So now we need to stay keep the priest alive. But we're gonna have a problem because there's a monster standing outside. So you need to stand outside here and fight. He's, the priest can't get hurt at the moment because the monster is still standing over there. He can't move or anything like that. You can stand over here. You can stand and fight. Blah blah blah. The monster's busy throwing stuff at you. You can shoot at this thing to try and prevent it. But the priest is still not there. Okay. The monster is already at how much percent? That looks like a 75% already. Right? It looks already like it's a 75%. But, there we go. The priest has been saved. As soon as that says 2, then I want this thing to start moving again. Now, it starts moving towards you and now, now the fight starts. It says keep the priest alive once it's... Alright. Keep the priest alive. Um... So here, on this one now, when we're checking for where there's the priest or not, okay, we need to go, go back to the base again, not this one. TP civilian extraction is the, uh, no, it's the base. Is priest. Is priest branch. And then what do we do? We go to like that. Control C. Control V. Okay, that's that's not priest. It's what do we call it? Uh, game state. We're calling it escort. Control C, target location base, we call it escort, control V, alright, and then we can say the next objective, which will be, let's say, extraction. Uh, get to the extraction. Greetings, Treco. Yes, how you doing, man? Welcome, welcome. Well, doing the same old thing, same old thing. Trying to stay alive, keep ourselves, uh, you know, san keep the sanity as, you know, as sane as possible while being insane. Pretending to be sane while while being insane. <laughs> Something like that. Let's see. Objective one. Okay, get to the gun shop. Okay, find the priest. Okay, find the priest. He hasn't moved yet. Okay, now he's moving. He's going to start moving at five to five seconds. Can damage him a little bit. Yeah, managed to damage him a little bit. <laughs> Lucky because that was quite fast though. It says get to the priest. We find the priest. Okay. Help keep the priest alive. Okay, we need to get out and help the priest. Where's the priest? Okay, he's already going there. Okay. I'm trying to follow the priest because okay, he's coming over here, but he Help keep the priest alive. He's almost there. Is he there? Okay, get to extraction. All right, cool. Yes, let's get out to extraction. We've successfully completed the mission. 
We successfully completed the mission. We got the priest out. All right, cool. And now the guy starts following. So as soon as that happens, <laughs> game dev does that to you. <laughs> it does, eh? <laughs> See, I'm sort of like I'm, I'm sort of playing uh, playing it. The, the half the gameplay is not there, but I'm sort of like trying to, you know, picture in my mind what's supposed to happen, how it's how it's supposed to happen, kind of thing, so that I can make the gameplay for it as I go along. <laughs> yeah. And I'm going to make it sort of like linear. So there's a lot of like gaps you can go through, which I'm going to have to block off, obviously, later on. But for now, I'm keeping it open because the AI can run through all, all over the place. But I need to stop the player from maybe going through certain places. But yeah, I can block this area. Just want to see where the AI runs run through. Game dev does make you go insane. You pretend you're actually, you pretend you're completely sane, but you totally lost it long ago. No, nah, bro, everything's fine, man. Yeah. No, man, I had a chat with Charlie this morning. Who's Charlie? Oh, he said, uh, never mind. You guys wouldn't know Charlie because he doesn't exist. <laughs> but why? But why? <laughs> uh, what is that? What's that saying? I remember someone said it to me once and I laughed. I used to, I loved it and I stole it from them and I started saying it myself all the time. That's it. Uh, or I read it somewhere, whichever, but I, either way, I stole it. <laughs> uh, people tell me that I'm crazy, but I don't trust them. The voices in my head have always been right. They've never been wrong. They've never lied to me. And they tell me I'm perfectly sane. <laughs> Just have like monster eggs hatching if they go far and play gets eaten. That's a good idea. That's a, you know, cool, cool idea. You know, you cross this border, you know, what's it? You're abandoning the mission, please. Yes. <laughs> You're abandoning the mission. <laughs> report back. You're abandoning the mission. Please report back. You know, the simplest and most, uh, most common thing in all games. <laughs> You're abandoning the mission. <laughs> I actually have a little thing saying, yeah, would you like to abandon the mission? <laughs> Click yes, kicks you out. Thanks for playing. <laughs> ah, that's a good one. All progress will be lost. <laughs> yeah. Would you like to? Uh, would you like to abandon mission? If so, all pro know that all progress will be lost. <laughs> that's a yeah. That's a funky idea. That's a cool idea. <laughs> Uh, okay, okay, okay. So we want to, we want to get the next one triggered. Okay, so if on this one, it says get to extract and get to extraction point. All right. So what I'm thinking for extraction point. Let's 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 create something quickly. Let's quickly do something. We'll like, we'll go in like that. And we'll drag this to there. The creature can't get inside the, the petrol station, so that's why I didn't put so much explosives around it. Because I mean, Point is going to try get him to get inside there. I'm going to have hassles with the roof kind of thing. But if I can get him close to here, we can put another two barrels this side. You know, just for the fun of it. No one knows why the barrels are there, but you know, because of defensive reasons, we brought as many explosives as possible. It's just been, it's just one of those things, you know, we brought defensive all over the place. No one knows why the trucks and you know, everything's lying all over the place like this, because the monster was never even got you in the first place. Or, you know, no one knows why this is here either, but, you know, it's just gaming reasons for gaming purposes. <laughs> the field behind the yellow house would work for extraction point. Behind the yellow house. Oh, oh, you mean the cop station? The county sheriff. Yeah. I put the I put this one as the extraction point, but what I was thinking, uh, get to the extraction point. But what I mean by extraction point was to you know get to the roof. You come running to the top there, and then blow the blow the uh, blow the guy into pieces. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, that's actually the cornfields at the back here. That opens up a lot more gameplay as well. You know, there's a lot more space to play. 
Yeah. But also, I'm also thinking, you know, to get inside the building here and to find the stairs here and get up to the top and fight this and fight this guy from the top of here. I want to test it now because he's going to be throwing things at you. So will it be, can it, you know, okay, that's, I don't think that's such a good, good idea to play because he might not be able to hit you from there. So it doesn't matter whether he's there or not. And just, you know, just so you guys know, here's a secret. Let me show you guys quickly. Okay, I need to have a full screen for this. I need to focus. <laughs> You can come to the top here and fight you and he won't be able to get to too much. Stand behind you. Okay, if the thing explodes up close to you, then it, then it causes damage. <laughs> but yeah, I just showed you a little you know, trick on how to get to the roof on this side. <laughs> uh, I was playing around trying to figure out you know, where the players are going to go to try and see where they can go do this and everything like that in the beginning. Because I had an idea of having like little zombie things chase you around as well when you came this side. But that's so much more gameplay to add and everything like that. But I'll also work out where you're going to go if you come this side. Can you get on top of, let's, you know, jump on top here and try to escape? Listen, I can't shoot that. Can't. I must replace that one with one that can explode if we're going to open up this area. <laughs> I put barrels all over the place. No one knows why these explosive barrels are here, but it's just, that's there. Who cares? As long as we can get them. But now, that's what we do. Before we get distracted, let's get back to work. <laughs> Okay, so at that exact mom exact moment, okay, how are we doing this one over here? Let's quickly check. Let's quickly check and see how we did this one. Skadoosh! <laughs> I wonder if someone is going to hide behind the gas tanks. <laughs> I thought about that as well. <laughs> Standing guys behind a gas tank and boom, oops. <laughs> because now that's a problem you're gonna be careful as for. Uh, you're gonna be careful for as well. Yeah, I mean, obviously, you know, after the third or fourth time you've died, you probably figured it out. Listen, can't stand next to the barrels either. <laughs> and this guy that's throwing things at you, he does definitely those things that that that, that, that do they do make these things explode as well. <laughs> And I've even thought about adding small little things like, you know, where's the inside the shop there? We've got like a, a liquor store. I was even considering making like some, some bottles like explosive. <laughs> like mini damage, small little damage, small little explosive stuff. <laughs> I've also thought about making like nades that you could throw nades as well. But I'm saving that for, for afterwards because that's like, uh, could that could be code that takes a lot. I'm not a shooter, but I'd play this for you when you are ready for outside testing. 100%. No, that, awesome. Thanks a lot. <laughs> and it's not going to be a, like the full game. Uh, what I'm trying to capture is like maybe just the boss fight. It, it's just the, the the last boss fight, the last stand as in, you know. Essentially, if for a game, it would be like this, like just be one of the guy, one of the one of the monster characters that you fight for. And then, all right, cool. The next part of the game is right now. Okay, cool, let's make a whole open world thing and you're defending against some alien monsters that are coming here, but, you know, this is like the final scene in the game or something kind of thing. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm actually inspired, I'm actually inspired to remake the whole thing, but this time replace the monsters with characters to, wait, I don't know if, yeah, I don't know if I showed you those, those screenshots. And replace it with characters and have the whole setup with the, like a shootout kind of set up like this with explosives of Ola all over. Now, if you make it like multiplayer, you can have like a team shootout in the town like this as well. You know, bad guys coming in and you've got a time limit to stop them from coming in because there's a criminal coming through. The idea. Just a quick little multiplayer setup. That'll be, that could be kind of fun. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. That's for another day. Oh yes, we want to look at this. See, that's my problem. I keep on talking about one thing and then I get distracted and go to the next thing. 
uh, kill boss, update health. Event room receive damage, kill boss. Move to truck smash. All right, cool. We move to truck smash. Ah, yes. All right, cool. So all we have to do, okay, so all we have to do is rename that location. What we'll call this a standoff location. Standoff location. All right. As simple as that. Definitely not. And we'll just go like that. Control C. And at the bottom, Control V. And change this to move to standoff. location move to standoff location and we'll search for standoff that will be it there uh, is dead okay cool definitely because we don't want to move if we did uh, get active location and we move to the location and there we go so that should be all wait duration interesting interesting you see this is the weight duration that i set for for making it easy making it difficult so if i increase this to like it's waiting five seconds now so before we do that before we do that we need to actually make a move we need to make a move now move to standard location so um we do that on the trigger but in this time in the game state uh, in the game mode, civilian rescue. So in the event graph, on tick, when we say, oh no 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 no, we go to the target location base. Is priest? Yes, right. And then we go to put a class. You see, there's so many calls, you know, casting stuff that I'm doing over here. Uh, that's gonna gonna be boss enemy. Gonna be boss enemy. Okay, we call uh, cast to boss enemy. It's already a cast, I think. So I don't think to. Well, I mean, why am I casting? But is there a boss enemy target location base? I don't know why I'm casting. I don't need to. Uh, we go to move to standoff location. No, 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 that's not. Yes, that's right. So as soon as the priest is saved, so as soon as the priest goes over that uh, border thingy, I think what you're doing is super cool so far. Thank you, man. Even keep the monsters, multiply either teams or all verses to keep. To get more kills and survive the longest yeah even keep the monsters multiplayer either teams or versus to get more kills or survive the longest i like the idea of survive the longest keep going as long as possible get as many kills it's almost like uh makes me think of maybe i haven't got i haven't got it my pc will never be able to even play it but uh that that new uh what's that my music stopped playing let me go back to just get back to the positive stuff let's wait <laughs> uh, um, hell divers that's it hell divers like you know kill as many monsters go in jump in <laughs> jump back out <laughs> uh, all right so complete objective get active of class move to standoff location so that's As soon as we get the priest, uh, we're going to get the priest, and as soon as the priest is saved, as soon as he basically crosses this line, then the monster is going to move from where he is standing over here to here. So instead of making him chase you all the time, I'm controlling him, I'm making him move just like that. Because if he has to move, move to you all the time, I think you would die very quickly. Because if you just, you know, you wouldn't be able to hide. He constantly knows where you are. Constantly just... <laughs> so I'm going to control him like that. I can create a behavior tree. 
and that'll be and then i can control it even better with him but for now i'm using like the simplest ai move tools just keeping it simple no oh, shut up shut up i'm on the way man <laughs> and i'm also thinking i'm going to work on that cinematic there as well he's on the way cause a little bit of damage you see that's a little secret that people won't know you know even this time of year people won't know that you can shoot it yeah, but i'm gonna make like a little tutorial shoot as many barrels as possible keep the priest alive uh, he just he destroys this thing by himself because eh? he shoots that thing the damage, which is i did that on purpose not really, that was actually just accidentally and then I saw it. <laughs> but yeah, it helps cause damage for him. Keep help keep the priest alive. Okay. Let's see. Get to the extraction. Okay, cool. He's ooh, he's coming. He's coming. He's coming. He's coming. He's coming. He's coming. Oh shit. We've got to get out of here. What the hell are you still doing here, man? Get out of here. Get out. Move, move. Oh shit. Check him. Okay. You got stuck. Uh, okay, I've got to watch out for that. Ah, uh, forgot about that. Yes, I forgot about that. You see, as soon as he stops to do something, then he stops doing what he's supposed to do. <laughs> oh, did you make the piece unkillable? So, do you have to... Oh, yes. Yeah, that's a problem, eh? Because if you don't save the priest, then... If you kill the priest and you know you fail well actually I'll, what i'll do is actually if he's a priest and you kill the priest it's gonna say you failed just straight away you failed i'll make it like that that way you can restart the game that's a good oh that's a good because of the, the way i've coded it so far you can kill everyone so if you kill the priest by accident you know i'm gonna make it oh you failed you killed the priest the priest is dead he died <laughs> yeah Okay, stop on overlap. Okay, uh, I'm going to create. Has reached. Has reached target. figuring I'm gonna get that, that issue as well he's going to target and we can say yes it is going to target so yes he is going to target when, once he starts moving uh, on success with on success he has reached target okay great stuff so when he starts attack headbutt See, that's a big problem I gotta check. What we do is go branch. Is going to target. Oh. So you can uh, so 
if he is going to target, and if he has, is going to target and. No. Has reached target. Okay, let's keep them separate for now. Not on the headbutt, only on the. Only on the bottom one. I'll keep it only on the bottom one, because the bottom one will be on. Okay, has reached target. False. Then we're going to keep moving. Uh, this is going to stay in the location. Then we're going to keep moving. Uh, false. Otherwise we can just keep fighting. That was what I meant. We're on the same page. Okay, that works. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, find the priest. Instead of find the priest, I'm gonna just go there, go to the church and rescue the priest. Find the priest in the church. Thank you. Alright, cool. Help keep the priest alive. Alright, he's almost outside now. Moved very slow this time, actually. But now he saw me. <laughs> Alright, cool. So he's still gonna he's gonna move to the extraction point now. Once Okay, let's move it out, keeping him alive. So now he's gonna start moving to Okay, well, that made him come back. We should actually figure out a way to... You see that? Oh, you're gonna, ooh, you're gonna die. Oof. I have to figure out something to do there for that, accident, that fighting. Okay. <laughs> Everything is hitting it now. <laughs> okay, come, come, come. Need to keep it alive as much as possible. And you close it. Keep the fight safe. <laughs> Did you get too close? Come, 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 do, 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 come do it this way. Yeah, come fire me this way. Yeah, that's a good idea. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> no, we, need to, we need to make me work on more damage. I'm, I'm basically dead. <laughs> that was what I meant. Okay, so he moves to standoff location. It does, but it doesn't work straight away. It sort of like goes and then it stops, and then it goes and then it stops. But yeah, that actually, this <laughs> sort of works, I think. We can actually add it to this side as well, just to make sure. But I've got a funny feeling that, you know, it should have triggered, it should have triggered immediately. That should have triggered immediately, but I've got it. Not always perfect. You can see now. We can also change it that you can, you know, save two civilians. But if I keep it, the, the, hey, where do you want to go to? You're gonna duck off in the backyard. That's not. You hide your stash at the backyard, bro. Where do you hide your stash? Where do you hide your stash? <laughs> Watch him shoot at the priest. Does he shoot at the priest? No, he doesn't. Yeah, and now he is. He 
Is he now? I've got to figure out something that I can do for this for this truck over here. I'm going to figure out something. Make you know. I mean, if I change his you know, like mirror his attack. See, that's an issue. Okay. You know, I faked a little. Let me tell me what you guys think of this. Let's see. Um, let's do a little bit of tweaking here. A little bit of um, what do you call it? Uh, it's not even there. It's actually the boss enemy in the animation the montages. It's the attack head, but it's the throw montage. So if we take that one, so I'm spawning it at his hand because that would seem to be the, the most natural place to spawn it. I don't even need that anymore. Uh, yeah, um, but if I take Now we're gonna take it like that, and now we come to the monster again. And where's the throw projectile? Attack projectile. Uh, spawn projectile. Oh, yeah. Actually, we just we don't need to do that. Actually, we just need to go to the mesh itself. All we have to do is grab the mesh and go to the skeleton tree. Grab the projectile spawn point. And attach that to. I'm going to attach it to the head. Uh, where's the jaw? Put in the jaw, jaw, tongue. Point in the tongue. <laughs> jaw. Make it look like it spits out the tongue right from the point. But then it might not be. Add socket, tongue socket four. Let's just copy that. Copy and move that socket slightly forward as well so we don't have any collision issues. And let's see now because now he's going to be aiming straight at you, even if the truck, so if the truck's in the way, if he's looking at you and he can see you, it's going to go past the truck. But if it's going to, I get also the collision on the truck as well. Yeah. Ugh, on the thingy. Uh, come to boss enemy and choose the socket name is there. Control V. So now he's got, let's turn the collision off again. So we can go. I begin play. I should organize this more. Should definitely organize that more. <laughs> also show bubble so we can find it easier next time. Turn collision on. So now we can actually go and test the see what that see what that attack looks like so now he's going to be you know spitting the projectile out of his mouth you hear that woman screaming <laughs> oh wicked
You know what? That actually does. That actually looks shit. So let's go back to the way it was. <laughs> what does the defend one look like? That won't work either. Get hit. No, that's not going to work. Yeah, it's, the best one is like that. That is the best one. At least I think so. It's the attack hand. If it gets too low and it's hitting the ground already even before it reaches me. The best would be You know what, watch this. Where's the tongue socket? Okay. And it's right there. And that's around about he throws it at that moment, he throws that he throws it right there. Oops. Run about there, he throws it. So if I spawn one at the tongue, it's going to be one, one, one over there as well. So no, no, I'm not going to do that. Wait, let's see. So now he's spawning it from that same socket now, from the tongue socket. So now it's going to be at his mouth, closer to his mouth, more in the middle. Let's just see. Yeah. It's more in the middle now. Okay, so let's go to... So far. Now the animation won't play because he won't come forward anymore because he hasn't reached that goal. So that's... I need to fix that part because that's a problem. It keeps on doing that and it doesn't. It's not supposed to do that. And that collision. Turning the collision off, okay, on the begin play, collision does go off, but that's not, oh, okay, yeah, sorry, sorry, it works like that fine when it's collision is off, and yeah, I keep forgetting, as soon as I disconnect this, then I keep on forgetting that I've disconnected it, and then when I'm playing, and then the thing starts attacking like that, I'm like, oh, shit, man, I've got to fix this, meantime, it's been fixed long ago, and I just keep on forgetting, <laughs> yeah, insanity. You know, you want to hear the definition, definition of insanity? Just doing the same thing over and over and expecting a different result. <laughs> Did I ever tell you the definition of insanity? Vas! Vas! <laughs> uh. Okay, let me just think a little bit. That's what we want to go test. I forgot about it. We want to go test that gameplay quickly. See how far we get. Shut up, lady. I'm coming now.
Five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. And he starts coming. So now it doesn't matter. I can come right up to him. He's not going to attack me or anything like that. But as soon as that video starts, he turns to face me and starts shooting immediately. And he starts firing at me like that. You see, that's, a, that's the thing that I'd like. You know, if he's actually standing up. He should fire from the top. Yes. That's even better than I think that's what I'm gonna try to do. Try get him to fire at the top. Um perspective front. Yep. Right. So he stands up right there at that spot, right there, at that moment. At 30. Uh, time format, let's see it in seconds. And that is at one second, at like one second. At like 0 0.9, 0 0.9 or something, whatever. So at like at that 0.9, At point nine, so at one fifty five. So let's make a let's hold on, let's just like a let's see one point five five hold time. Let's say I'm gonna go with point nine for now. Let's just see. So now it's gonna spawn it at the top. Glitched assassin, greetings, Greek uh, welcome, welcome. Hey the dino man. <laughs> welcome, welcome, welcome back. We're busy, you know, I'm busy trying to fine-tune a few things while I'm busy coding and while I'm trying to finish things, while I'm busy thinking of that thing and while I'm thinking of this thing. So let's see. I, I've disconnected the collision again. I want to go... <laughs> also want to work on that animation. You must move a bit more forward again. But yeah, okay, cool. You got him coming forward. He won't attack just yet. We want to see the attack, but hopefully he's attacking a bit higher now. Because that'll, that'll solve a bit of a problem and, you know, look, maybe look a bit weird. We can maybe do something else. Let's see. Let's see how it looks. Yeah, gotcha, yeah, bastard. Took him, he's already shot him. I think I'm going to get hit by that one. Yeah, I'm going to hit by that one. Ooh, okay, he's trying to hit me. Yeah, that's, ooh, that's much, that looks cool. Uh, you know what? <laughs> Delay. This could be fun. This could be kind of fun. Hold on. We'll see now. Check this. 1.55 is the old one. Let's see this. You got a cool game. Thanks, man. <laughs> it's so buggy and so messed. Such a such a big mess at the moment. All right, can't do anything at the moment. He's a first saint priest. You can even kill the civilians now as well. Okay, now he's not going to get saved if I want to. If I want to kill him. <laughs> and the priest at the moment, if you kill him, you know you can't complete the mission. The next objective won't start. But uh there's bugs we're gonna fix though. We're trying to get to I'm trying to get to the loop and then play it the way it should be played. And then he just shot at me. He just shot at me, but I got him just before you got me. Ooh, there we go, there we go. <laughs> so 
Okay, ja. Oh, nein, nice shooting. Oeh. Oef, oef, oef. <laughs> Difficulty just went up. <laughs> Where's my health? <laughs> that seems a bit more. I don't know, he spits one. He's coming towards me now. Oh shit. Oh, what the hell are you still doing here, man? Come on, come on, come on. Uh, what the hell? Ah! He's not gonna make it. Ooh, he's lucky. <laughs> oh, I'm out of ammo. I'm lucky. Oh shit. He almost got me. Oh shit. Now I've got to battle, battle this guy all by myself without the. And I got no ammo either. Ah. <laughs> I still need to reload. <laughs> Yeah, we're gonna have to. I'm gonna have to invent like nades or something like that because now he's at fifty percent health, and I have no ammo. I've got to run around looking for ammo while I'm fighting this guy, and stay alive. I can run through here like this. Ooh, there's still someone I can save. Here. <laughs> I've got ammo. Okay, you're gonna run this way. You can run this way if you want to. All right, cool. Good luck. He doesn't go there. He's shooting at me only, man. Come on, leave me alone. <laughs> so it's going to take a long time to kill him. So we'll have to come up with nades and stuff, but you know, make it very scarce so you, say you can't kill him too easily. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know. So yeah, we can definitely increase the amount of ammo we got around here. Because <laughs> no, that, that felt a bit unfair there. It felt very unfair. Also, uh, how many ammo pieces? How many things? Okay, we've got... Twenty-eight. We have twenty-eight. So let's say for ammo. For ammo, we'll make it eighteen, and for health, we'll make it ten. So ammo is spawning all over the place. It's a bit of a fight to get to to finish him off. And because of the explosives and stuff like that, I think I might have to have like I'm gonna have to add more and I'm gonna have to close off this area because if you run to the back of here you can literally just stand and you know shoot at him, you know, it'll be a hack. So close off the area, you can't go there or something like that. We'll, we'll make it close off. Close off a bunch of the places. I mean, close off of here as well. Originally, I was going to have it that you could run around to the back and stuff like that and do this thing. I mean, you can even see I built the, I put the, this blocking volume to stop them from going around. I actually made the whole square, the blocking volume all the way around. There's the, sorry, flying at the top. Yeah, right. So I literally made the space. You can even run all the way over here. The ultimate, you know, the pro achievement. I'm going to put maybe put some guy inside here. The pro achievement. Save this guy as well. Which means you have to, you know, get him over here. Once he's in the middle, you can run to this side and click on the button. Come save him. But yeah, no, that's, that's overkill. You can't even get inside here yet. Actually, yeah, you can't. <laughs> But I'm definitely going to have to make nades. These, these tanks and everything like that, 
you want him to get exploded by them, not not you. <laughs> and that's the problem we're having at the moment. Well, it's not a problem, but I mean, you need to play careful. So those that don't play FPS games are going to have a hassle, I think. And that's we need to we need to fix that. I'm going to make a. I need to fix it in a way to make it easy and difficult. So now I have that done. Almost a complete loop. It's almost a complete loop. Uh, let's just kind of see what we have so far. We go get to the gun shop. Like, yeah, at this moment you can really turn around. He's not going to go anywhere. He's not there. So quickly give him some damage. There you go. Yep. Got me stuck. Now he's on the way. Not yet. Five seconds. Now he's on the way. So blocking volume to stop you from going any further from here. But then as soon as I put the blocking volume to stop me from going here, then he can go here. <gasps> but I can. Oh. Bam, why am I so stupid? Why didn't I think of that? Such a simple bloody fix. See now. Find the priest. Okay. Also, the priest needs to be invincible. <laughs> you are correct. Because if this guy kills the priest, then the mission is failed already as well. So you are correct. We'll have to rethink that one. Keep the priest alive. Ah, uh, but then again, it's part of the mission. If the priest does die, you fail the mission, so yes. <laughs> okay, he's not he's not dead yet. But guess what? One of our guys died. One of them didn't make it. Oh here he is. He doesn't want to make it. Ooh shit. I nearly died. So he doesn't want to die, so now he's Ooh, get to the extraction. Shit. Bam it. Okay, I just died. Okay, let's see if he attacks that guy. Let's see. Hmm. Why is he not attacking him? That's not there, though. Attack headbutt. Okay, attack headbutt. Where do we call it, though, man? Target active. Where do I set target active? Okay, he will never attack me because obviously he's not trying to, I mean the projectile is focused at me. So when I attack with a projectile, I should be attacking at the actor that is that is down from that side, which would be spawn the projectile. We should be spawning the projectile at location. Fine look at location. Not to play a pawn, it would be that actor location. So it will be in the attack, which is obviously something here. Close all other tabs. Go to the event row. Go to attack. Uh, 
over here. Put your address here. I'm gonna make it just for the, just for. Target actor. So let's see. So now, if that guy gets stuck, he's going to throw the projectile at that guy. Um, that should also, in, in other words, be the target actor as well. But okay, I'm just leave it like that with that. It's always these small things that take so much time to fix that end up, you know, making you have a hassle to finish the game. <laughs> it's like everything, everything else works so perfect, and it's like going like this, and then a small little thing comes along, and poof, <laughs> you spend hours trying to solve a small tiny thing. And that always happens in jazz because you, your coding and your, your all your code and your blueprints and whatnot is in such a mess. I'm rushing to get this thing done here. Instead of doing the things the way you know you should be doing, you're doing it the way it is. you're trying to just get it to work. I've saved one guy and the priest on the way already. So now let's see if we can get this guy. What's the priest to say? Let's see if he, uh, uh, let's see if he's gonna fire this guy. It should be. Oh, but there's a woman inside here as well. Let's go save the woman first. That might slow her down. Okay, you're being saved. You're on the way. I just saved you, baby. All right, cool. Let's see if does the guy come and shoot at this guy. Well, I guess. Hold on a second. Um, ALS base AI. Okay, sure. So the only way they can die is literally by you killing them. <laughs>
<laughs> the voice isn't very, you know. Ooh, stand around, yeah, yeah, stick around, stick around. Some good friends on the way. If it's working, it should sort of like shoot at the priest already. Alright, so the priest is. Okay, let's go save the lady. Ha! <laughs> Yeah, it looks like he was shooting at the lady. He's coming up to me. Okay, cool. Let's see if he goes after her. He should be shooting at this guy now. Let's see. Come on. No. Still not doing it. He's only coming after me. Okay, let's go back to that one. And the boss enemy. Projectile atmosphere, it's not the hypersphere. Projectile atmosphere, and that's ignoring world dynamic. It ignores world dynamic. Okay. That will be a dead log location there. Yeah. If we actually make it even uh, you see the bus enemy if we go to here. Um, one component begin overlap. Okay. 
Damn it. I'm gonna leave this for now. Because, okay, I'll be, I'm eventually gonna figure it out. What's going on? Why? But for now, let's get to the next part of the section. So he comes to here, and you're gonna fight this Oki. Ugh. Let me take a five minute break, get some cool drink. Ah, no, get some. Uh, fresh air, fresh, what's name, what not. Also think about it while I'm doing it. I'm going to just think a bit. Uh, I'll be back now. I'm just, I'm not going to go off, st stop streaming. I'm just going to, I'll be right back. Oh. Back again, back again. How's the music? Eh? How's that music? <laughs> what do you guys think of that song that was just playing? If you are, if if you were listening. <laughs> Actually, yes, like, you know what, that's actually, you, that will never work, that's, I just realized something, that would cause a murva, a, a murva, that would cause a big problem. Uh, let's just make the player character the focus for now. <coughs> we'll keep it at that, you know, you've got to save the, host save the hostages or whatnot, they can die in explosions or something. You know, we'll keep him that he's, that he's fighting you. Uh, uh, we can... We'll see. We'll figure out what, we, what we're going to do. The reason why I didn't make that actor, because now, you know, any actor can suddenly become a target. Uh, which also means... You know what? How is that? Check this out. This is so weird. Attack. Go to attack headbutt. Attack projectile. Okay, go to attack projectile, go back to there, you see it's spawn projectile. 
spawn projectile, a target actor, and target actor is not being set anymore, so in player pool. So that wouldn't have been set as it and that would have broken it. I would have, maybe if I didn't think about that now, I might have taken, oh, sorry, hiccups there. Might have taken me quite a long time to figure that one out. Um, okay. So I can't figure that one out, but uh, what I was, no, I don't want to play just yet. Um, what I was thinking, I should actually close off, not close off, but I mean, yeah. Uh, Close off this section and you know close uh, close off here. Set this thing and set up to to set up for the final thing so we can get the loop done. Try and get the loop completed by the end of tonight at least, or at least before, so that we can spend more time finishing off the small things and making sure the gameplay plays smooth. I'm considering leaving out. You you can use this as well, okay. I'll leave it for now, but I'm gonna make it that. He moves to here, and you need to fight him off, and put up your final stand. But I'm thinking, how's that gameplay going to work? Should we go into the roof? Yeah, we need to figure it out. We need to think of that, because it's, how does it feel? Okay, so, at the moment I'm coming up that. I need to disable player movement because when he fires it suddenly just shoots everything that's around everywhere and it exploded this thing yeah this one Game and it's been playing this game for years, it knows exactly what to do. Which button to press, how to press it, get there faster. There we go. See, now we, he's already been that thing's already been shot, so it's, it's like ready, you know, speed run fail. <laughs> Check that drum, did you see that drum? <laughs> that was cool. Oh, I got stuck. He's busy shooting at me. I've already been hurt, I didn't even realize. Oh, there we go. not moving here yet why not oh the priest is not there yet he's on the way it took a while and that was the delay that five second delay between easy and hard <laughs> Ooh, you want to stand there do you <laughs> ah. That's actually, hmm, hmm, huh. well now, that is a unexpected, uh, unexpected but should have been expected. I think it's because the montage is playing, two montages are playing at the same time. Oh, wait, wait. Um. <clears throat> uh. 
I want to try something. Let me just see something. Okay. Let me get to here. something I think I have an idea I think I have an idea but <laughs> that thing that's spawning by the headbutt did I change my also something in the head but attack Okay, this is happening basically I think because the animation is playing, the montage is playing. So disable movement, okay that should be doing it, okay. Don't know why. So what I should basically do is to fix that one from any from ever on component begin overlap on component begin overlap. Just check if it's the player and that's it. Not worry about the AI. Just you can kill him. Your object is to save him because that's going to save us a little bit of stress for now. We can figure out just now how we can because uh, the civilians can die if that thing hits uh, hits what you call a thingy but now we just make it to save the to save the civilians you can kill a civilian yourself but you can't so that's it so we don't worry about the, that thing worrying about the AI just yet because maybe keep it simple keep it simple for now we can try and make it better if we get time. Oh, of course, I'm going to set focus. Keep it clean. Yeah, that screen. <laughs> no, maybe this is. <laughs> a little bit of damage helps. Every little bit of damage helps. Help keep the priest alive. All right, cool. Said, where's the priest? The priest made it. The priest made it. All right, cool. The priest made it. Let's shoot him as much as we can. He's shooting at me.
Okay, now he's moving towards me. Yeah, he's gonna get me. Run, 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 forest. No, 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 no. Yes. Oh, you damn luck. Okay, so we need to lure him this side, but we need to prevent him from shooting at us. Well, no, we can get him there. Ooh, he's damaging me. He's hurting me. Which one are they focusing? He's there. Oof. <laughs> I didn't make it. I died. Died. <laughs> this Oki is, uh, he's not. <laughs> Definitely. Definitely. So, playing it like that is not going to be very easy. We need to figure it out, make it a bit easier. Because for some people. Yo. I mean. I, at the moment, I know that, I know exactly how the AI works. I'm just trying to pretend that I don't know and play it like that. But after playing a while, I realize, you, you know, this is, even though it's like the ending of the game, it's one of those games that you'd have to play a few times to work out how to defeat this thing properly. And that will, that might make some people not want to play it. You want to make it, you know, Okay, it's got to be intense, it's got to be fun, but you want to make it... Okay, maybe a little bit difficult. Yeah. At the moment, it seems it's like a bit too difficult. So, I'm going to have to work on that, but... To fix that, we need to get the loop going, so... Let's get back, let's get back to our bearings. Let's get back to our bearings. Let's get our bearings back to our where we are. <laughs> the last mission we had was extraction. Get to the extraction. Escort. Keep the priest alive. Okay, so what we can do then... Get to the extraction. I'm going to say... Yeah. Defend the extraction. Uh, let's call it, yeah, I'll keep on calling it extraction. Okay. Defend the extraction point. <clears throat> okay and now we created a timer in our game mode earlier <laughs> which we are using which we actually use to to test how long it's going to take for him to get there what we now what we now going to use it for is to run a timer to say listen defend it for 30 seconds let's uh, no 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 that's not going to be right that's not correct um Because if you get to the extraction point, okay, you need to get to the extraction point. Okay, you need to get to the extraction point.
Education. Education base. Target priest, update rescue joint. Okay, cool. Okay, okay. So you can blah, 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 blah. All right. So that'll happen after the priest. All right, great stuff. So that was going to say that after the priest. Get actors location, move to standoff location. Connect, thank you. <laughs> we also need to make sure we also need to make a check here. Because uh, we can't have this objective completed just out of the blue. It needs to be completed only when uh, when the priest is saved. Only once the priest is saved. Which means once this objective is complete. Is priest. So we can go back to Alice AI and create a new is rescued. Yeah, so we did use is rescued, which is quite. Is saved. Uh. That's going to prevent that playing over and over again. Volume, yeah, I just saw that. also at the bottom because it's looping over and then it's playing that sound and now when I go save the guy he still makes a scream and it's screaming at the exact location where he was because it delayed a few seconds and then you know it doesn't say it delayed a few seconds then it plays the next sound but after but it delays first and it doesn't check to see has it been rescued because it's, he's already been rescued so he's running and then he plays the sound and then it only checks to see if he's rescued then it stops then it won't play it again so now that's uh, now it's fixed that part so now it's going to play that thing delay then check then delay then check um, is saved okay um, Is priest get to extraction? Where is it? Boss in oh, well, we're in, 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 in the target location. We're saying escort next objective escort complete. So now, straight away, we can say 
is saved. Get is saved. Set is saved. Okay. Set is saved to true. And it's last game mode. <laughs> okay, I need to click this carefully now. Okay, cool. Three is called escort. Help the priest escape. And then we go to. Okay, let me take it like this. So in the game mode. No, it's not the game mode. That makes it even more difficult for me to see. I think what I should do is call that one. Escort is finished. All right, move to next game application. Which is extraction. Extraction. Okay, that's why I was getting confused. I read, I read now. Help keep the priest alive. Okay. Get to the safe zone. Get to the uh, extraction. Extraction point. Get to the extraction point. <coughs> All right, cool. So that is in target location, it's there. You do not set the next objective. You do not set the next objective. Because at that moment, the monster is busy walking. So the boss enemy is busy walking and he is on the way to move to standoff location. He is moving to the standoff location. On success, has reached target. Right. From has reached target. Okay, so now we can go back to the game mode. Hmm. 
branch. target say branch Woods. and tiger Seconds equal, equal or even greater, greater than or equal thirty seconds branch. Sound quickly. 